You may be considering filing a Chapter 7 bankruptcy without an attorney, but you may be wondering what are some pitfalls potentially to avoid or things to, to steer clear from or potentially how to ensure that your Chapter 7 doesn't fail and you end up in a dismissal. Well, I want to cover all of that today to help you be the most informed in making this decision. Welcome to the Ascend Finance YouTube channel where we try to take uh, complex topics like bankruptcy and help you understand the costs, pros, and cons. Now, ideally, the goal here is to help you be more informed and get you out of debt cheaper, easier, and faster. My name is Justin, so let's get started. Before I get too further in, I want to kind of give you an idea, a holistic view of what the video is going to look like. Now we're going to cover six different things. So here is what we're going to go into first. Now, again, before I go too far, please also note this video is just for information purposes and should not be construed as legal advice. Now, first, we're going to go through, you know, whether you should file bankruptcy without an attorney. Does it make sense? Is it smart? Now, we're also going to dive into the length and the complexity of all the bankruptcy forms and everything that you need um, to ensure accuracy. Now, one question we're going to touch on is, does your Chapter 7 case have potentially complex issues that would potentially make sense to have an attorney take over? Or what are the pros and cons of even filing bankruptcy but using petition preparers? Or maybe the pros and cons of filing with some sort of bankruptcy software, but also the success rate of filing chapter 13 cases on your own. If you'd end up enjoying the video, please, please feel free to leave a like as those are always super encouraging for us to see. Also, if you have a moment and you want to see more content helping you understand the best ways to get out of debt, feel free to subscribe as we try to make videos weekly. Now, let's get started. The big question here is whether or not you should file. So, should you file bankruptcy without an attorney? Now, the one thing that a lot of focus on is the fact that they'll save money in fees. They'll be able to save the attorney fees. But are you comfortable with filing the, com the, the complex forms? Does it make sense for you to do that? Well, one thing I wanted to note is back a few years ago, I think between 2010 and 2016, I think they found that I think it was less than 3% of chapter 13 cases filed on their own resulted in a discharge. So clearly not great, but how does it size up for chapter seven? Well, to help you in your research, we actually built a do-it-yourself bankruptcy calculator that I actually included in the description below. The goal here is to help you compare between, okay, filing it on my own or using an actual attorney. Now, seeing the cost savings of filing it on your own versus working with an attorney and helping you understand based on your comfort level, what makes most sense. All right, now let's cover how to file bankruptcy without an attorney. Now, filing for a bankruptcy could be the best solution for your debt problems. However, before you go down that path with the help of a bankruptcy attorney, there are five things I want to help you consider. First, as touched on earlier, the length and the complexity of the bankruptcy forms and the need for these forms to be completed accurately. Now, a completed bankruptcy package of forms, right, could contain between, let's say, 70 to 100 or sometimes more pages, depending on the complexity of your case. Now, sometimes these bankruptcy forms could be difficult to understand, and so it's important to read each page and section carefully to ensure that you include all the correct information you need. When you're filing a bankruptcy, you're actually signing those bankruptcy forms under penalty of perjury, right? So in other words, you're swearing under oath that all the information is accurate and complete. And so you don't want to be uh, committed for some sort of fraudulent thing when it's completely by accident. So just make sure everything is accurate. Now, the second thing I want to address is does your chapter seven case have any complex issues? Now, some folks have a more unique or complex situation than someone else. And so it's important to understand of your case, is there anything crazy complex? Now, filing chapter seven without an attorney is only generally a good idea if your case is relatively simple. Now, I wanna show you this graphic here to kind of show different examples of complex issues, right? Potentially a home you wanna keep, but you're behind on the mortgage payment, right? So arrearage, maybe you owe back child support or alimony payments that you potentially need to get caught up on or like, you know, your mortgage, maybe you're behind on your car payments, but you want to keep the car, right? And so you want to ensure to file the bankruptcy correctly so you can get caught up and maybe stretch those arrearage over the plan. Um, or potentially if you have a debt that has a judgment regarding some sort of DUI accident or fraud or, or something potentially on the, those lines uh, could make your case a little bit more complex. Or, right, if there's a large inheritance that you may have just received or may be receiving soon, all these different things you want to make sure is protected, right? Potentially a home you want to keep, but you're behind on the mortgage payment, right? So arrearage, maybe you owe back child support or alimony payments that you potentially need to get caught up on or 
like you know your mortgage maybe you're behind on your car payments but you want to keep the car right and so you want to ensure to file the bankruptcy correctly so you can get caught up and maybe stretch those arrearage over the plan um, or potentially if you have a debt that has a judgment regarding some sort of DUI accident or fraud or, or something potentially under those lines uh, could make your case a little bit more complex or right if there's a large inheritance that you may have just received or maybe receiving soon all these different things you want to make sure is protected right you you have the intention to protect and you want to make sure they are protected and so when you have different pieces like those that make the case actually a bit more complex it may be helpful to consult with an attorney now let's say you potentially own assets that are worth more than the money that's allowed over these bankruptcy exemptions well that could be one reason your case could be potentially more complex right because you can potentially keep it although it's more equity than the exemption but an attorney would probably know the best way to approach that when actually filing so with all that said with all those things on the screen here before before filing without an attorney, just take advantage of some sort of bankruptcy consultation to make sure Chapter 7 is best for you. Three, now I want to touch on the pros and cons of using a bankruptcy petition preparer um, to help you with the case. Now, some companies actually offer to file bankruptcy for you, but they're generally limited to filling out the forms. They cannot provide you with legal advice or support and, and hiring a bankruptcy petition preparer may cost as much as actually hiring an attorney who can actually give you legal advice and, and represent you. Now you may be also able to file the forms on your own with the help of court self-help desk. These companies are often called bankruptcy petition preparers. Now, these are people that helps you fill out the bankruptcy form and their role is limited to typing your bankruptcy forms from the information you provide. Four, now we want to touch on the pros and cons of using a bankruptcy filing software. Now, bankruptcy filing softwares make it easier to file, but just entering your information into the program and then which completes all the forms for you. However, sometimes the accuracy will actually depend on the information you input. So that's why it's important to be honest and as detailed as possible, because sometimes the best software includes detailed information on each form to ensure accuracy. But some systems are actually more user-friendly than others and, and are similar to potentially like a credit counseling program. So a lot of those softwares I found to be potentially more geared towards actually bankruptcy attorneys using them. And so it's important to find one that's geared to a consumer. Now, I wanna to touch on the success rate of filing a chapter 13 on your own. Now, if you don't qualify for a seven, you may still be able to file a 13 to get out of the debt. A chapter 13 is a restructure of your existing debt. It's in, in a sense, it's, just, it's a disposable income-based repayment plan. Now, there's a few factors that will actually determine how much you're gonna to have to pay in your chapter 13, like potentially non-exempt equity, which is at a basic level referring to the equity you have in a belonging that's above the exemption for your state. But basically, in a nutshell here, a chapter 13 is a plan payment that is restructuring your debt. And so some folks may only pay let's say 15% of their unsecured debt back, while someone else may be in a 100% plan. So chapter 13s are clearly, just by this few things, very quite a bit more complex than a seven. And so it's very important that you understand, you know, different complexities with 13 versus a seven before deciding to work with an attorney or filing it on your own. Now, with that said, I generally strongly recommended that you at least talk to a chapter 13 attorney before filing it on your own. Sadly, it's less than, as, we, as I noted earlier, I think back in between 2010 and 2016, less than 3% of those cases filed without an attorney actually reached discharge, right? If less than 3% of them are actually getting to the end goal of why they filed, there may be a tale that it, it could be potentially beneficial to work with an attorney. Ultimately, everyone's situation is unique like yours, and so it's important for you to figure out whether it makes sense for you to file it on your own or work with an attorney. Now, that's why, again, we built this do-it-yourself bankruptcy calculator. We want to provide a calculator that's completely free. You don't even have to add your email. You can get the results and see kind of what makes most sense for you and help you understand whether you should file on your own, whether you should work with an attorney, or maybe potentially do a different option. And that's where we come in too, where our role here is to help educate folks. So please feel free to take our calculator. I linked it down below and that'll ideally help you compare between filing it on your own or filing with an attorney. Now, thanks again for watching our video here. Hopefully it was helpful and to provide enough information to kind of get you going and figure out which option makes most sense or what you may want to do. Now, again, if you do have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to leave a comment below or call us or text us. You can reach us anytime, generally during the day between at 833-272-3631. Again, that's 833-272-3631. One, you can speak with me, you can speak with someone else here, and we'll help you understand the different options at a holistic level. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day.